We are exploring the vaults of Fallout today on episode six, our review of the episode, Amazon's Fallout show. The uh, the vault we get, it's seemingly, you know, it's good and then it ranges to bad. We get a ton of different, yeah. you know, versions of the vault. I Something's think. going on in the vault. And yeah. you think it's nefarious, but maybe it's actually not as nefarious as we're first led to believe. But I will say, you know, it's interesting that they go down into a vault mm-hmm. after she's been in a vault for yeah. so long, uh, Lucy, and then Maximus is with her. Mm-hmm. So now we get like this fresh perspective on the vault and this kind of old perspective on the vault. Yeah. And this we sort of open up our worldview on what the vaults are. Yeah, it's very vault heavy in this one. The, the first 10 minutes of this episode is you're back in time and Cooper is actually um, the ghoul, yeah. Cooper. Is Cooper Howard, the, yeah. the, the rock star, not yeah. rock star, the Superstar. TV film star yeah. who he's, turns to the ghoul. Yeah, he's promoting um, Vault 4, yeah. which is going to be a vault just purely led by scientists. Everyone in there is a scientist of some kind. And uh, he's, like, funny. he's like, fire <laughs> spot in the vault. <laughs> I love the bit he, he taps on the wall. He's like, that's lead. That's four f- feet of lead or whatever. Yeah. He's like, lead line steel he's or like, something like that'll that. That'll keep out the rats and the commies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, those, I think he's exactly, that'll keep out the rads and the reds. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Um, yeah. So, uh, which coincidentally, oh, um, also, guys, this will be a spoiler review for yes. this episode. And sometimes because of the way these last four episodes yeah. meld together, we'll be talking about a little bit about the other episodes as well. So, just a uh, spoiler warning ahead. Okay. So, my name is Hopper. And I'm Steven, and we are the Binge Warmers, and we are reviewing, like Hopper said, Fallout. So, let's get into it. So, yeah, so he, um, the Fallout 4, I mean Fallout 4, Vault 4 that he is promoting is actually the vault that Lucy and Maximus find themselves mm-hmm. in. So, they're in this one with all the scientists. And you can tell that some stuff is going on because she's like, oh, my God, Maximus, this is awesome. We're in a vault. Trust me. Everything's going to be great now. <laughs> and he's not so sure. He's no. like, oh, this is a cult. Everyone's smiling. Everyone's yeah. all, all too happy and He goes, I know lucky. what a cult's like. I'm in one. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Yeah, for sure. You know. For sure, he's in a cult. And like, even we'll see that, I guess, in later episodes, like seven or eight. We'll yeah. see um, him and Thaddeus are both kind of like, eh, yeah. like eh. I love it too because <laughs> it's kind of eh. Maximus is starting to grow on me because he just says stuff as soon as yeah, it comes to his mind. He's, he's just like, that person's ugly. You know what I mean? Like he'll say stuff like that. You know, he's got the lowest intelligence anybody. Yeah. so he'll just kind of say. Like at first he doesn't want to stay, and then he decides he wants to stay, and he's in like a robe after a hot shower. He's never had one before, and he's watching a waterfall on TV eating popcorn yeah and no, he's like yeah. this nothing's better than watching a waterfall <laughs> you know this is truly the lap of luxury yeah and he he's like eating like, caviar he runs out in the hallway he's like what is this yeah he, <laughs> the guy's like it's caviar man <laughs> he's like eating everything out of the gift basket and stuff he's like this is awesome i love this you know he's like tasting the soap in the bathroom and stuff too. yeah he's he was like, like what do you mean hot hmm. shower like what yeah are you what about? the oh, man <laughs> and i love that for maximus you know he gets yeah. a little bit but it's funny too we'll, we'll talk about it since uh We've talked about how Lucy doesn't shy away from certain things that most people would find awkward. So she decides she's in the mood while they're waiting and they need to be decontaminated. And she goes, I don't even know if she's in the mood. I think she's just trying to pass time. Yeah. <laughs> she's she's like, like, you want to have sex? And Maximus is like, you mean use my pee-pee? Or yeah, he's use, use my cock. <laughs> and that's why we really started making, because he's so dumb. He's just like, what am and I going to do with my cock? <laughs> and he's just like. No, it's kind of gross. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm you know, not into that kind of thing. It grows up like a pimple and you have to pop it. Ugh. Yeah. And she's just like, okay. See yeah. yourself. He's like, I mean, it's never happened to me before. And she's like, well, you know, <laughs> you actually kind of want it to happen every time, ideally. Yeah, she goes, it's very normal. Yeah, it's, and he's yeah, like, it's good. no, I'm a knight. We don't kind of do that kind of thing. And she's like, okay. <laughs> she just lays down. Yeah. She's like, whatever. Yeah, I'm going to go to bed then. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's so funny. One of the funnier moments. I think that's one of the more memed moments, too. Like, yes. I'd, I'd seen that. Not the full scene, the but I'd seen that. The image, too, of him saying that. I was just like, <laughs> ow. I don't like that. He pop, like He's just like got his thumbs up yeah. against it, just trying to make mm. it pop. The whole thing kind of just made me cringe like from a pain kind of way, too. Yeah, you know for right? sure. But, yeah, so they're in there, and they go, and they start eating in the, like the commissary or whatever, and she's like, trust me, you're going to love this place. And then she sees the overseer. Chris Parnell, the Cyclops. Yes. And I love he's like, oh, she had, he had one eye in the middle. like, that's not normal. He had one eye in the middle of his face. And he goes, yeah. that was kind of to the left. Yeah. <laughs> I think a little to the left. <laughs> and then they see a guy who's got a nose on his forehead. Yeah. And they see some people who've got glowing eyes kind like, of thing. Like gills and stuff coming yeah, out. Yeah. And they're like, what is going on here? And I love that she didn't notice that right away. But now she's like, oh, something's funky. And this is our yeah. first like, or, okay. So our first turn was like, oh, they got kidnapped out of the medical building. Mm-hmm. So it's, oh, that's bad. They find out, oh, they're in a good spot. They're in a vault. That's happy. Yeah. Lucy likes the vault, everything. So good. And now we're back towards bad again, where it's like, what is happening? Yeah. Why are these like yeah. weird mutants up so in here? So he gives them the rundown of like, if you need anything, go to my second in command. Uh, she's from Shady Sands. <laughs> a lot of, you'll find out a lot of, um, a lot of the vault dwellers are from 
the overworld. They yep. just came in here. And it's funny, too. The Cyclops is apparently kind of racist. He's like, oh, you can't make these <laughs> jokes about people, you know? You can't call them... Can't call them surfies anymore. Surfies, you know? I'm just... <laughs> And then they don't like the punchline where it just blew up, you know, and dude, people don't like that. And dude, I'm just like laughing my ass off. Chris Parnell, man, he's he's another one of those guys. Yeah, where it's like I don't know his name, but he's like in everything. He was in, he was on SNL back in the day. He's yeah. like he's Jerry from Rick and Morty. He's uh, Cecil from Archer, I think. Yeah, his name is. I just he's so good. He literally is the definition of he's from a different generation. <laughs> <laughs> he's like the exact person you want playing this role, where he's yes. like. Something's something's horribly wrong with him, but he's like acting like a, just a normal kind of nineteen yeah. fifties dude. Like, yeah, dude, that's I love it. Such a good performance. Oh, oh yeah, gosh. he's like drinking the coffee and he spits it out. <laughs> he spit it out for some reason. I can't remember why he spit it out. What he goes, it? Mm, "That's the multi one." Oh yeah, that's what it was. I was like, "What?" <laughs> um, so he tells her, "Under no circumstances, do not go to level twelve. You cannot go to level 12. And of course, Lucy's like, "Well, now I have to." I like how it's played now off. It's going to go harder. It's just played off as like a very like calm thing. Like, yeah. and don't go to level twelve and for obvious like, of course. Yeah, yeah. And like she just yeah of course she yeah so <laughs> and then Maximus had, uh, before he decided oh hot showers and caviar are pretty nice he was gonna steal the fusion core for his suit because they have their suit locked yeah up and well they found his suit after they had done like a resort or like a, yeah. a you know like, like a sweep a, around the area a scavenging kind of, thing. Kind of yeah. deal yeah so um, the lady the second in command she <laughs> he just kind of like put a blanket over it too it's like, yeah of oh, yeah, course they're gonna find it so she comes in she's like mm, you know some people do want to leave but you know. You'll want to stay after a while. Kind of implying he can't leave is what yeah. I got. But like, and that's what he took too. But then he realized he goes, I don't want to leave. <laughs> and it's not what they mean at all. So we, like we said, we had the cold open with Cooper. Mm-hmm. Um, after the events of that commercial, he shoots. Yeah, he, it's, it's more like his wife kind of gets him more and more involved. In yeah, you can see Vault-Tec. like Barb is like heavy into Vault Tech. Yeah, because she knows things. She's hinting that she knows things. I think she's one of the big le- big hitters. Like yeah. she's one of the main like people at Vault Tech. Yeah. Spoilers. She's a <laughs> I'll bleep out the bitch, but uh, we don't. I mean, you know, she's she's sort of doing what she thinks she has to do, and mm. there's a lot of complex arguments in this in this episode and the next of, of like like she says they have a dog, right? The yeah. manager's dog. Like Coop has a dog, and he you know he's, he's walking downstairs, he sees a poster. Someone's like, oh, I love that movie. And he's like, oh, that's my real dog. Like he, you know, yeah. he's, he loves his dog. And then there's kind of talking after the rat party. We'll come. I'll, I'll circle back to the rat party too because there's some funny stuff there. Yeah. Um, but he's like, you know, he's, he's just talking to his wife, like later on, he's like, um, there's no dogs in the vault. She yeah. was like, when did, like, who decided that? Like what? Like, that's not, that's not a free choice. Like we can't make that choice to have a dog in the vault or not. We get this interesting argument of like Cooper, everyone will die. There will be a nuclear fallout. Yeah. You cannot, I mean, you have to give up some of your freedoms to live. Yeah. And so Cooper's just like, well. And Cooper's like, why Why do we have to lo- Why do we have to lose our freedoms? And why are the bombs having to drop? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, he's like, what if, yeah, what if the bombs don't drop? And yeah. then we, we're, you've wasted all this time and you've ruined your character. Yeah. You've kind of compromised your morals. And kind of taking lets, people's freedoms away. She let something slip, too. She goes, I'm working hard to get to one of the good vaults. <laughs> yeah, I and noticed he's that. Like, good vaults? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is that supposed to mean? He's like, oh, Cheryl. Yeah, she goes, oh, you know, I'm just gonna try to get us into one of those like overseers vaults, like the, you know, so they train them to be overseers. Huh? Barb, you sneaky little vixen. Uh, and every time too, she kind of keeps slipping stuff out, like it's just mm-hmm. normal everyday yeah. stuff. Because she's used to talking with all the vault taking mm-hmm. guys. Yeah, so let's go back to the rap party because we see our boy again, you know. <laughs> Matt Barry. Yes, dude. dude. I when he showed up in this in the flesh, I was like, ah, I did yeah. the soy face in this one. Yeah. I was like, Matt Barry's here. He's uh so he's he's the only friend of Coop's that shows up to the party. Mm. A lot of Coop's other Hollywood friends have either A been outed as commies, <laughs> which at this point in in the way that this show goes, basically if you do anything out of what Vault Tech and the big companies want you to do, they label you a commie. And then you're suddenly invalidated by everything. Which we can kind of talk on that a little bit, but like, isn't that what just normal? Like that's how, that's what the Red Scare was, right? Like if yeah. you didn't like the American way of life. Mm-hmm. Like you if you said anything wrong about the government, you were suddenly a communist. Right. Like you couldn't say anything bad about, or even just like, Dude, like I corporations. Still say it, you stuff. know what I mean? If someone like if Des says, "Oh, I don't like um, KFC," <laughs> I'm just like, "Oh, I didn't know I was dating a communist." There was a guy because we live in the American South, and I don't know. Why I need to preface the American South. Yeah. I, clearly, we're not. We're not like, South American. <laughs> yeah, clearly. We're uh, the North American South. <laughs> we're North American South America. South. South. We, we live on the earth. <laughs> and we live in a region where people like to drink really sweet tea, is and my point. And they have Southern drawls. And I went to a church with a guy who, when I was in high school, and he was just like, he, he was from the North, and he liked his unsweet tea. Yeah. He was instantly labeled a communist. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you are. What I love, too, is 
northern people that come to the south always talk about oh we got they never shut up about how they have unsweet tea yeah just as much as the people that are south go to the north never shut up about how they have sweet tea you know what i mean <laughs> where's the diabetes causing tea i don't like a little bit of sugar yeah. i like my i like my like Dude, a little drop of tea with my sugar drop a pound of sugar in that tea all day but it is weird, like the something about tea. People yeah. have to tell you if they're from the north or south how they drink their tea. If you're from the dirty UK, you drink your tea hot. Excuse me. The fuck are we doing here? Actually, no wonder you guys lost the Revolutionary War. <laughs> well, dump it, dump it back in the yeah. in the harbor. You know what? That's some hot tea for you. Actually, I like I like hot tea. A yeah, lot. you're communist for that. <laughs> I don't I'm bringing it right back. I don't drink coffee, but I do drink hot yeah. tea. So anyway, um, all of Coop's friends have been labeled communists, or they don't like how much Coop is working with. Vault-Tec, who yeah. they think are the actual bad guys for yeah. the American freedom people. So they've all kind of cut ties with him, which hurts Coop, because he's gotten a, a friend. He We'll see him later. They served together in the war, and yeah. he, he straight up said, I, I don't like what you're doing, and they, they cut ties kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Coop's, Coop's losing a lot. Just as much as his wife is gaining a lot, yeah. Coop's losing a lot. So really like all he has his, is his dog. Yeah, that's true. And he's losing a lot of his, like, you know, his sensibilities and his person. Because he's like, oh, yeah, whatever, honey. Like, okay, I'll, I'll work for vault Tech. It's, it's steady work and yeah. all that stuff. And, yeah, I don't, yeah. And then you get Matt Barry's character who's like, he was a, a robot, or he's a butler, mm-hmm. but he sold his voice likeness to be, you know, the, the voice the, of Cogsworth, yeah. like the Mr. Handys. Mr. Like Handys. That? And he goes, you know what they paid me? They gave me one. <laughs> you know how hard it is, or weird it is to come home and you got yourself telling you, would you like a cup of tea, sub? <laughs> I love, and that's, yeah, because Cooper's like, how much did you get, like a million? And he's like, I got like a hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I didn't get much at all, dude. <laughs> He like, gave me a fucking robot. Yeah, he goes. It's so funny too because he's he's semi important. He's a Hollywood guy. Yeah, yeah. And there's these girls like do the voice, do the voice, and he does. And he goes, oh, they, oh my god. And then, you know they're attractive women. He's like, so y'all want to take this up to the hot tub? And they go, oh god, no. Oh no, no, not at all. And he's like, oh, okay. And he's like, okay. You ain't gotta be a bitch about it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So oh, he's man. like a down on his luck loser guy. You know. What well, I mean? yeah, that's, I think that's how everyone is who works for the the kind of the vault tech. Yeah. Like yeah. They, you kind of sell out, you know. Yeah. But even that too, like we kind of get this the swiff of like the corporations controlling everything because mm-hmm. he says like, oh yeah, they. He's like Cooper's like, surely the copyright wouldn't let them use the character from the show yeah. you're in, and he's like, well, they bought the whole company that was making the show, so yeah, they was, just do whatever they want. Yeah. Which we will talk more in episode that seven. They really dive into why these companies have so much po- pool and stuff, and I really like discussing it because it's a big part of the the games mm-hmm. too. And I think I think it's really neat. But yeah, so we get that, and then we flash back to the ghoul, who mm-hmm. is now you know Cooper is the ghoul in the future. For my money, this is some of the best stuff in Fallout right here. Oh yeah, where I he's love all it. tied up, and then there's like the the the, the president, yeah, <laughs> the guy who's calling himself the president. Yeah, they go, well, who who are you guys with? We're with the government, <laughs> and you go and it's literally spelled government, <laughs> like a mint, and it's so uh, funny. You guys, there's like three of you in this whole operation. You guys are president of the United States of America. <laughs> He's like I don't. He's like I didn't vote for you. Yeah, it's he's like, like you know you're. you're uh, I've never heard of this before. You're. Uh, you need to work on your marketing skills or whatever. Yeah. It's like three people, you know. <laughs> yeah. And that's the uh, that's the thing too is like this guy's trying to start a government, and then, yeah. you know we get the thing. There's all these different factions, so he's starting another faction. Mm-hmm. And you know the ghoul is like someone he knows and respects, so he's like I don't want to kill you, but like. You mess with like a fully, you know, operational business, which mm-hmm. how operate, you know, how, how two, above the board could that have been? Yeah, two potheads <laughs> just doing drugs all yeah. day, selling people's organs. Yes, like you could have ran this better. <laughs> Put at least one guard in there, something. But you know, they had Mr. Handy. I guess they had uh, Snip Snip. Oh, he did so go. He did so well. <laughs> You're right. You know? One vault dweller, dweller comes in and he yeah. can't handle it. Um, Killed them surfies real fast. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, he's trying to get them, and, and it's so funny because Coop just kills those guys. So easy. Well, he's provoking them, too. He's, yeah. like, he's like, oh, uh, he's like, he's like, oh, my dad lived in Philly. He's like, not anymore, he didn't, unless he was a coward. Yeah. He might have survived. Yeah, he's like, so is he a dead guy, or is he a coward? And either way, it pisses the guy off, right? Yeah. So it's like, take his gun away and, you know, have you escort him out and stuff like that, and... It's so, f- and then like after he kills them, they're both dead. They're already dead, but just to make sure, he's got two pistols and he just bam, 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 unloads both of them onto him. Oh, it's so good. Did he? I don't think he shot the main guy though. No, 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 because he had to talk to him about the wanted signs he saw on the back. That's true. That is true. Because he saw Mal Davis, mm-hmm. and he goes, "I didn't remember her looking like that." Yeah. Which is like, oh, he probably met her in the past couple years. Yeah. But we'll see, because we go back down to the vaults with Lucy and uh, Maximus. Mm-hmm. And so Maximus is having a good time. Lucy decides she's going to go. Um, there's a surfy um, custom is what they said. It gets a little too rambunctious for the regular vault dwellers. <laughs> yeah. So they go into the like commissary again, and there's like this big shrine, and everyone's there. She goes in there, and they're like doing things. She's going along with it. And then all of a sudden, they all just 
Take their tops off. <laughs> it was so quiet. She just goes, zip. Yeah, she goes, like, zips it a little bit down. Which kind of cracks me up because she's so quick to just have sex because she's bored. Yeah. But then she won't show her boobies for well, some she reason. she still you know? has those, like, you know, it's, I guess, repopulation per- specifically is yeah. not against the, the her, her code yeah. of conduct. But maybe, like, being undecent and, like, showing your boobs might yeah. be a little. It was just a weird thing, which, you know, whatever. So everyone's, like, you know titties out and stuff and they're passing around like ash and they're drinking from the blood and yeah. they're chanting and stuff and like this is for the blood mother the blood mother and she's like what is going on here and they bring up this picture of freaking mold daver yeah. so what's going on there <laughs> hopper what's going on there what do you mean? i don't know I mean, you're supposed to answer <laughs> my question <laughs> i was just kind of looking at him like yeah oh. <laughs> so we see that something's off with moldaver just as much as was off with lucy's dad and you know the shady springs and the vaults and stuff um just when you think she's just a ne'er-do-well <laughs> person you know what i mean i have in my notes here written moldaver ayo <laughs> what the <laughs> It's because Cooper Cooper gets a business card from his Native American actor friend. Yeah, uh, which that's a fun dynamic too because they always fight like they always fight each other. Mm-hmm. And uh, the Native American guy's like, "Yeah, I just played some heel in your movie," and he's like, "No, you could like communicate with you know the the wind, and you had all yeah. these like fun yeah, abilities, you had some cool stuff." <laughs> yeah. um, but he invites him to like a communist meeting or like mm-hmm. a, you know kind of an anti uh, technology yeah. whatever meeting. And um, he ends up going, and we kind of get these flashes back and forth. Yeah, of the, of the vault that, and yeah, yeah. yeah. And so there's kind of cults activity in both. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, oh, they're sort of going. It's almost like a Scientology meeting or something. There was yeah. like stained glass, kind of gave you like the organized yeah. religion kind of vibe. They were too. in a, a funeral home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it had and like a little uh, chapel. In chapel, there. perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so you see Maul Davis. She walks in. She goes, oh, Cooper Howard. I love your movies. And yeah. And it's like, wow. Yeah, and as soon as they show her there, they flash back and they raise up the picture of the blood mother, and you're like, okay, how the fuck has she been alive for 200 years? So now we get this weird mystery of like, okay, Maldaver's been alive this long as well? What's going on? Why has everyone just been living? (laughs) You know? (laughs) We'll get some some more reveals as well, but it's sort of a common theme. We we come to find out it's sort of a common theme. And I'm telling you guys, seven and eight, they just ramp up so fast. Yeah, for sure. So good. Oh my goodness! But um, I don't. They don't really explain kind of what her role is beyond that. But we kind of figure out in the next episode more about her. Yeah, her and Cooper a um, little bit more, not much more. Not too much more, but you know, you get a little vibe of of kind of how she in, in she instigates a lot of stuff yeah. with Cooper and his wife. Yeah. Um. But yeah, this is a really that's pretty much that's pretty much all that, that kind of happens. And yeah. she she tries to find Lucy tries to find. Um, that's what really sets Lucy off too. That the vault's not good in her opinion because if they're associated mm-hmm. with Moldaver who stole her dad, yeah. then they must not be good people either. Well, this is what sets her off to go to level twelve. Yeah, which we'll find out about in episode. Or in the next episode, guys, yeah. it is crazy what's going on in there. We pretty much see like a dead gulper as she walks up there. Yeah, and cryopods too. Well, she sees like the the TV with all the the footage, mm-hmm. and it's like it's like a woman, like a pregnant woman. I I, I get gross around pregnancy stuff. Yeah, like, you know, remember Prometheus when the lady gets pregnant and she's yes, just like, dude, it's so weird. And then they're stapling her up afterwards. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know what it, like for, that's one of my like little weird spots. I don't like yeah. I don't like pr- I don't like weird things happening to pregnant women. Yeah, <laughs> that's one of the grossest things. Yeah. Um, but then yeah, she, we see that. Scene. Oh, you you can talk about it. I don't there's know. just a bunch of like small. We find out they're gulpers, small mm-hmm. gulpers coming out of her her uh, womb. Her hoo-ha. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, not a more disgusting visual I've seen so far. Yeah, and know? then they eat her alive in the tank. <laughs> um, pretty pretty foul, pretty yeah. foul there. And uh, that and that's that ends the episode. Yeah, you, s- you see a bunch of cryopods and yeah. people in in stasis and stuff, and then that pretty much yeah that ends it. Yeah, and I don't like how that ends. Oh, that was I mean? gross. You know what I mean? It was. It's uh, a lot of mysteries happening. But again, it really cements because you see it in the games. The vaults are not your friends. Anything can happen. You go in there and you'll find any kind of experiment going on in the vaults. And oh. it is not fun. We can also talk about Bud, too. We saw Bud for the first time in this. Who comes to become... He comes to become... He becomes a bigger character later. Oh, yeah. When you first see him, he's just like a, a helper with... A, He's he's like an up and comer in Vault Tech kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, he's sort of. I think he's working on the Pip Boys. Yeah, he's got like all these ideas and stuff. He worked on the T forty five, and yeah. um, Cooper's like, because of that malfunction, <laughs> you cost my men lives. And Bud's like, oh, I I didn't actually you know oversee that. You know, I was more logistics really. Kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. He's like, but I got a new idea. You know, so let me tell you about this. And he keeps trying to get Cooper's attention. Cooper's like, I don't like you. I'm not talking to you ever. I, well, but he's saying a bunch of stuff that comes back too for Cooper because he's yeah. like, oh yeah, the, the way to win is time. Time, yeah. Ooh, it gives me chills thinking about it now. Yeah. And he's all like, oh yeah, management is the is the way to go. It's yeah. The, that's the that's the future. That's like, how to control people. What a scary guy. Marriage. He seems like this idiot who can't do anything. Like a yes man businessman. Yeah. And he is 
freaking smart, dude. I mean, he's just like manipulative and he's like knows how to play business. He's and terrifying, dude. In a world where like, you know, technology or uh, te- technology companies rather, they come to own the world. Mm-hmm. A guy like that is going to have a lot of pull yeah. and sway. Yeah. So, mm. yeah. So, guys, stick around for episode seven. Thanks for coming with us along with episode six. But episode seven will come out next Wednesday. Stay tuned for that. Um, but what are you? What are y'all's thoughts on the show so far? You guys have probably finished it by now. But um, what was a big twist that you didn't see coming? Maybe. Yeah. What was your What was your most like exciting twist to see? Yeah. I'm sure a lot of stuff is going to happen in the next two episodes yeah. as well. Yeah. Who's your favorite character so far? Do you like these flashbacks with Cooper? Because I I loved every flashback. I love it because I'm a big exposition dump kind of guy. I think the ghoul is my favorite character. He's got to be, dude. The scarecrow. Yeah. He's got to be. Shut up. <laughs> If you know, yeah. you know. Check out our <laughs> previous episode right here. If you want to watch more Fallout, you can check uh, or you can click on this area over here by me. If you want to watch our other, uh, the other Amazon banger that came out this year, which was Invincible, you can check right here. And then we've got a subscribe button right in the middle here. So if you want to subscribe and, and stick around for extra episodes of Fallout, then yeah, we just so. we just celebrated our 1,000 sub goal. So thank you for that. If you watch us for Ben 10, stick around. We will be eating some of Grandpa's food. So uh, that episode will come out on some Monday somewhere. So. And we'll see you in the next Fallout review. See you.